Natasha Cosmic Empress. Sounds great, we'll have half a dozen. The Draconians. Okay. I have been doing a lot of work with clients who are affected by this negative soul group and that's why I have a lot of information. That's why I feel it's very relevant because today a lot of souls living on this planet incarnated, some of you are truly affected by this negative soul group. So how exactly does she come to these remarkable answers? Oh, by asking remarkable questions and looking for those answers with remarkable sources. Hopefully all of you watching are positively oriented souls. That means that you are connected to divine source into your soul. That's how our soul lives. Our soul needs energy to live. Have high voltage. <laughs> We were born from God, Creator Source. We are part of it and we are connected to Creator Source by this umbilical cord that feeds our soul. Now, a negatively oriented soul does not have this. <laughs> the negative soul groups are inherently negative. That means they are born, they are created with a different divine soul blueprint that is designed to receive energy from others. And any negative soul, even negatively born soul, can choose at any time to connect back to divine source. Okay. That's why also there are positively oriented draconian. Any positive soul can choose to become negative through many negative choices, becoming more and more negative, doing more, more and more things that are not aligned to divine source. And at, at the end, that God spark just crumbles. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> Alpha Draconis is a place where the draconian soul group, but they were dropped. They were brought there from, from a parallel dimension. And all the information I'm about to disclose is information that is new, that is channeled information. So let me get this straight. Channeled information, which is going to be really valid. <laughs> And I actually went on a specific journey to find out more about the Draconian Soul Group with my good friend, Sarah Chapman. She is my colleague. We talk all the time about all of this. She is an amazing healer, spiritual healer, facilitator, Akashic Records reader, and she can read your business record. So if you are interested, please check her out. She's absolutely amazing. I wonder. Yeah, if I were you, I wouldn't be surprised if I continued to doubt that. Do you think so? So we went on this journey to find out to channel this information from the Akashic Records together. We have worked with many different souls. We are both blueprinters. We're both blueprint deliverers. We both come from the parallel dimensions. We have both incarnated in many planets. So I feel that we are qualified to do this. And we did this. We planned this journey. We went there and we got this information. Scientifically proven. Yeah, that's all you need to do if you're a new age expert. A self-proclaimed, self-educated, self-informed, self-made expert. You simply make more remarkable claims. How do you know this remarkable thing is true? I have a remarkable belief that allows it to be true. It's not science. It is, and just let it go! It's not science. I said let it go! I'm just taking The Draconians come from a parallel dimension. There are dragon beings which are positively oriented. For example, Maldek is a planet in the solar system that was destroyed. And there are positively oriented souls that are dragons. There are also dragon beings on other planetary systems. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. And what happened with the Draconians, and this is what I saw, this is what I the, the knowing came in. The draconians are dragon beings that turned negative by choice and then they evolved as a whole soul group of negative dragon beings and because they turned negative they lost their wings. Does that sound familiar somehow? Hmm? An angel that turned negative and lost his wings? All right, that sounds kind of biblical. So this is a little bit going in that direction. That's a little bit similar. Of course! Fallen Dragon Angels? <laughs> Basically, you're stacking up a variety of unsupported claims, and you're using more unsupported claims to make it fly. You have claims about belief, which you've learnt over the years by being in the spiritual movement. You've added to those beliefs with your personal experiences, which were inspired, provoked, promoted by the spiritual movement. 
You've made yourself a spiritual expert. You believe in your experiences, even if they're a play upon the imagination. And now you use your imagination, which is based on a broader belief, to say you know certain things for sure, even though you do not. What do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? I'm not an expert on such matters, but when a person comes along with a whole bunch of ideas and nothing to support it, other than special evidence, as with channeling, I tend to doubt it. You have a number of beliefs, a number of claims, which you cannot substantiate. Why should I accept a single one of them? Is when they came through into this galaxy, they went through a portal that had them lose all their powers. It was they built their civilization, and after many hundreds of thousands of years, they were able to develop technology again. So they just look for other beings that are like, I guess we are a little bit like animals to them, that are, you know, inferior, and that's how they get their food source, and they're masters of deception. The Draconians, they can absolutely shapeshift, they can deceive, they can put on shields, they hacked the incarnational cycle of planets, so they, they learned how to incarnate as other beings as well. When I went in with Sarah, my friend, when we journeyed to Alpha Draconis, we actually saw that planet and what it looked like. Okay, so, like I said, it's about half the size of planet Earth. It's warm, it's, and it's pretty arid. It's arid and dry. And what I saw was that there were concentration camps, there were buildings, um, of other soul groups that they had brought physically to keep them and to draw energy from them. That's what they did. And all over the planet, they had different buildings and enclosures where they had cap captives from other planets, other highly conscious sentient beings that they kept to feed off their energy. So fallen dragon angel space alien Nazis that feed on human flesh and run a concentration camp slave planet which they call their home and that sounds reasonable to you? We became human. Sounds great, we'll have half a dozen. 